I mean, I remember standing in a pub. This is uh, with so, uh, this was after my father died, you know. And eleven o'clock in the morning, and people saying, "Have a pint of Guinness," and so I had a pint of Guinness, and then somebody else would say, uh, "Have a wee half and a whiskey with it," you know. I said, "I won't bother. No, no, I won't. No, it's just it's too early. It's too early. It's too early." You know. Then. Finally, you, you just succumb to the pressure, and I said, okay, yeah, I'll have, a, I'll have a small whiskey as well. So, they gave me a whiskey and said, you're your father's son. No, because I'm taking a whiskey. And if you deviate from what they expect you to do there, it's far worse than over here. At least, the, at least in this town, you can be kind of anonymous to some extent. I mean, people just... Uh, you still fall into stereotypes here, you know, they, th they think you're Irish, so you're supposed to behave in a certain way, but at least they don't, can't, they can't relate it to what particular family you came from, or what, you know, there isn't that history going on that's forcing you to, to, to behave in a particular, I mean, I remember going to Donegal, and this guy who had a terrific little pub, which was just a kitchen, and, and the room with a bar in it, and we used to sing there all night. It was, oh, it was wonderful and everything. But he's got a new bungalow now. And his pride and joy is the septic tank outside it, you know. Because that's, to him, that's luxury. That's, he's, he's walked into the 20th century at last, you know, with a septic tank. Well, I, how can you deny him it, really, you know? Instead of being in a leaky old thatch cottage. Yeah, it's all right for you, yeah. <laughs> for a couple of weeks every now and again to go and visit it. <laughs>